What is up guys, welcome to this new video tech press. I'm going to be showing you how to add filters into your store of Shopify. In the tutorial, what I wanted to do is to use an online store that we have by default. So I'm going to just show you what we have currently available into my store. And then I'm going to add the filtering button into my actual store. So check it out. Here's my actual store. Here are the featured products. If I go into the catalog, I'm going to go into snowboard, for example and into the upper side here have feature collection and i have here snowboard i want to have somewhere added the filter so i can check it out more elements of my actual uh, actual products of, of course to my actual uh store so to do that what i wanted to do is to have a 2.0 theme already been installed into my store so this one is actually the version number 1.0.0 so what you want to do is to go directly into to your theme library i'm going to go into a theme and you can go into the pc theme store now the theme store is going to be showing me lots of themes that i can use there are a few that are for free there are a few that are paid uh, but you wanted to focus into the one that has like the latest update so far which in this case is a 2.0 so if i hit into view all themes I want to go here into the one that says like industry, we just close this one, catalog features, and let's check out this one. As you can see, here's the version 1.1, but you can always go back into your online store and look out for navigation. Into navigation, you should see the actual filtering and discovery of the filters. So allowing your customers to filter locations in search by product availability, price, color, and more. In this case, the filter settings are now available into the Shopify search and discovery app. Make changes to these settings in the app. So we needed to add this quick application of Shopify search and discovery. So I'm gonna hit into install. Just wait a few seconds there. And this one should be bringing you into the Shopify uh, editor where you can just hit into install application and you're actually good to go. There are other places, other countries where you don't need to install the application because the themes are already been uploaded and they always have the version 2.0. In my case, we don't have that version. We need to do this manually. So now I have the filtering added here into my filter grouping the filter translation and the featuring uh, overview. What I want to do is to get started with the filter grouping. If I go into the X mark, I'm going to hit into the X mark. Now I'm going to try to customize my very first part of my filters. So we do have by default the availability and the price. I wanted to go into add filters and here have the source. Now into the source, let's say that I wanted to make the product options of the color and the label should be called color in my case. Now I hit into values, I have black, blue, dawn, all the elements that I have just added into the all the values, of course, of my actual products. And I hit, hit into create group, and now here's the name. Customers will see this into your store filters. So I have black, blue, dawn, and hit into dawn, depending on what is the name of your actual product. So let's say, for example, that I just delete all of this. On select, I choose black, I hit into create my group, and here I choose black. And now let's go with done. And here the group value should be added as I am doing all of those elements and then hit into save. If you don't sort it all of the elements into your actual products, this actually just won't work. So what you need to do in order for this to work is to go directly into your products inside your products what you want to do is to look out for all your products and get started with the actual filtering of your products for example let's say this earphone base um i want to focus here and scroll a little bit down check this out here i have the product type the product category uh the vendor the collections and the text this one should be helping me a lot to check it out which is the filtering of my product and of course the actual variant for example, the colors shipped from China, you can add another option. For example, let's say the size uh, here, I can just add only two picks and hit into done. And this is something that can be helping us to filter all our products. So after that, hit into save. You have now added the variants and the elements of your products. Now you can start with the filtering once again into online store, focus into navigations. And inside the navigation, I wanted to focus into the filter of my collections. 
So here it is, the filter of my collection. I'm gonna hit now into open. Now let's take a look if this one is actually now available into our products. Let's reload the page of our store. Now as you can see here, how to the left part, the filter, the sword buy, and here are 11 products. Let's go for alphabetic from A to C. And there we go. It is actually looking great and it's actually working a lot. And the filter is now available into our store. I can sort this by the price, by the color and the availability. If I wanted to add more elements, I can do that. And it's not going to be taking me too much because I know how to filter all my products. So with that being said, guys, this is a really, really easy tutorial. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools of how you can use Shopify and the tools and the elements so you can sort more and make more professional your store. Thank you so much for watching the video guys hopefully i can see you next time